Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying new in things from M&S. I personally love M&S, as I'm sure most of you all do, and there's been quite a few new in things recently. So I thought I should probably try them for a video and share with you guys what I think. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's see what I have for breakfast. It's time for me to have breakfast and I have quite a few things to try. They do have loads of new cereals, but I tried two, I think it was, in my last M&S video. They also had a few pancakes. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, I was gonna say pancake saga, but it wasn't really. I saw sticky toffee pancakes and I was like, I feel like I've tried them, but I couldn't place where I tried them. So I asked on Instagram, a certain amount of people said, yeah, you have tried them. And then a certain amount of people said I hadn't. So I was like, what the hell? Anyway, I ended up finding out that I did try them in the last video. So I was like, I don't wanna try pancakes again. So I've seen a few things. First things I'm gonna try are the drinks. I think there may be like four new drinks out so we have the caramel latte cold brew or the mocha cold brew so this says double shot of espresso and milk chocolate and this one says double shot of espresso and skimmed milk and also caramel i'm guessing i'm gonna try both but i'm only gonna drink one now whatever i prefer and then i'll save the other for tomorrow so i'm busy Ooh, okay it looks thick Oh, that's good i could smell that straight away that's very chocolatey and it's not a strong coffee that's really good mm. this is definitely the best mocha i've ever had in a can definitely better than the costa and starbucks one obviously that's the one i'm gonna finish today that's really good it does kind of just taste like chocolate so if you don't really like chocolate milk which i didn't used to but it's grown on me over the years let's see the caramel latte It's good, but it tastes more like caramilk. You know when it's kind of like a bit burnt? That's the best way I can describe it. I definitely prefer this one, but this one is also really good. These are definitely the best ones I've ever tried. I would recommend both. I personally prefer this one, but this one's really good as well. I'm gonna pop this one back in the fridge and then I can finish this one. Okay, let's move on to food. I've got two different things to try. The first thing I picked up is this Greek yogurt with cherry. Someone tagged me the other day in these new like protein cherry bake well yogurts but when it was posted on instagram a couple of people commented saying this just tastes like cherry yogurt so i thought i don't want to try that and then next to it i saw these and they had a honey one but we all know after my last taste test i wasn't going to risk oh getting a honey one and they also had peach but i personally love cherry so i thought i could give this a go but let me just mix the yogurt because it's looking a bit questionable at the moment pour this in quite a lot of the sauce god i should have tried it separately first in case now we'll like it sorry i'm still half asleep this morning it's actually quite late in the morning as well yeah you actually get loads oh that's really good on the description it said sour cherries so i was a bit like is it going to be too tart but that is the perfect amount i mean maybe on its own it might be very sour but mixed in with this yogurt is really good if you added a bit of granola in, that would be perfect. I kind of wish I got the peach one as well. Back to the protein yogurt, they also had lemon meringue. But then, because I'd read that about the cherry bakewell one, I thought, I don't want to get it and it just tastes like lemon yogurt and it has no meringue flavour. I've actually got to go back to M&S today to get lunch. So I'm going to pick a few of these up. I feel like the date is good on them. Yeah, this goes out of date next month. So I might actually pick a few of these up. I'm doing a little TikTok today where I'm going to rate all of this. So if I was going to rate this, I'd probably give this an eight. When I think about it, does it just taste like a normal cherry yogurt? Probably. Let's move on to the final part of my breakfast. So I was like, can I eat this for breakfast? And then I was like, you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. We all know my love for the M&S peanut butter pot, but this is a sticky apple pot. So we obviously have the apples, toffee sauce, and salted almond crumb. I didn't even read the description. That sauce is really nice. First impressions, it doesn't have the same appeal that the peanut butter one does. The peanut butter one, the flavor is a lot more powerful. I don't know, I mean, it's nice. If I was gonna choose one over the other, I think it would have to be the peanut butter. But I like the concept. Maybe I'm putting too much on. <laughs> I'm gonna try the sauce on its own without any of the, the little crumbly bits. 
I feel like if I'd never tried the peanut butter, I'd probably rate this higher because in my head, I just can't help but compare it. I just think it's not as good. Also, I need to go and get my dinner. I'm gonna do a quick poll on Instagram of what people want. I was in there yesterday and nothing screaming out to me, but there was a few picky bits or there was a ready meal. And I was like, what would people rather see? So I'm gonna do a really quick poll. Anyway, fuck, I nearly just dropped this everywhere. I would get everything that I've had for breakfast again, apart from this, unfortunately, because I won't say it again, but we all know what else I would choose instead of this. But I would recommend you to try it if it sounds like a bit of you. Also, the poll already has 27 votes and they all say one option. So it's a very clear winner. Before we move on to lunch, the other day, I tried two of the new flavours of the Yum Nuts and I did a little YouTube short, but I know not everyone watches them. So I'll insert that clip now of me trying those Yum Nuts. If you've never tried M&S's Yum Nuts, you are seriously missing out and they've got two new flavours. In case you don't know what a Yum Nut is, they are Yum Yums shaped as a donut. As a nearly 30 year old woman, yes, I love sprinkles. Sorry, but how cute is that and then they've also brought out maple and pecan which looks like this okay let's cut them in half am i cross contaminating yes i am here's what they look like i'm gonna try this one first of all I feel like they've overdone this one on the nuts. Little pieces would have sufficed not great actually the flavor's a bit meh wouldn't buy that one again i have high hopes for this one I mean, you can't really go wrong with this one. It's just an added extra to the original. What would make it 10-10 is if it had jam running through the middle. They have loads of different flavours. So if you haven't tried one, I suggest you go to your local M&S ASAP. It's a little bit later. I've just been to m and I'm not going to eat my lunch in the car because it's a bit warm now. I put this on because it looked really grey and cold. But in a car, it's boiling. But... I have just got the new slush. So this is half Colin the Caterpillar and half Percy Pig. I won't lie, it looked a bit better online. In real life, it's a really muted colour. So I'm wondering, have they put enough syrup in it? But okay, I'm already judging before I've tried it, but let's, can you see me? <laughs> I'm gonna try the top first, which is Colin, which what is that even supposed to taste like? Because when I think of Colin the Caterpillar, I think of chocolate. So I don't actually know what the flavors are supposed to be. Oh no, it's still mixed. Absolutely no idea. I mean, it's mainly the bottom one. It's like blackcurrant. It doesn't taste like the other Percy Pig juices that they have. I don't even know what the taste is, but this is more just like blackcurrant. I really can't taste the flavor on top. Very refreshing. I haven't posted about it. I don't know, I have to Google the flavors later, but I personally think that's really nice. And it isn't giving me brain freeze, which is always a plus. Can anyone else just and swallow a slushy? I have to like crunch it, even though there's not really much to crunch. If I was going to rate this, I'd rate it an eight. When I saw the colour, I thought this is going to be flavourless, but it's really nice. Anyway, let's go home and eat. It's now time for lunch, and I have got a smoked barbecue chicken. That's it. Doesn't sound like roll. Barbecue chicken breast, cheese coleslaw, barbecue sauce, and lettuce on a brioche roll. Now, they actually had loads of these in this section, and I'll always have these for lunch whenever I do an MS video because I feel like their sandwiches are pretty good. They also had a salt beef roll, they also had a ham and mozzarella wrap, a Korean chicken wrap maybe korean barbecue chicken that's all i can think of i thought i'd try this one there is a lot in that now i just need to make sure i don't get it on my sofa what the hell i can taste mint it's almost refreshing okay that bite has really confused me oh no the coleslaw is all over one side and this side is completely coleslaw free Oh, I don't know if it's this lettuce. Let me remove the lettuce. Maybe it's kind of like rocket. I don't know. Without the minty flavour, this is really good. The brioche bun is so soft. I think it was the lettuce. Anyway, tonight West Ham are playing. And I have this feeling that they're going to win. So future you guys will already know if they've won or not. My brother and my boyfriend are out there at the moment. I also hope they win for their safety. Because I don't know, I'm such a worrier. But I just know if West Ham lose, it's going to be such bad vibes there. And then I'll just worry that there'll be fights. 
I remember when we went to watch the Euros and England lost and literally fights broke out straight away. I'm not joking. It's actually ridiculous. So tonight, after I film this video, I'm going to have to have an early dinner. I'm going to go and watch the game with Ellen. Also, I'm weighing up the options. I'm like, do I go to a pub? Well, we are going to a pub. Do I stay at Ellen's and then drive? As in, because I'm going to drive to Ellen's. <laughs> do I leave my car at hers and then drink at the pub? Or do I just not drink? But then I think when they win, because I'm manifesting it, I'm going to be sitting there like, oh, like, I wish I was having a drink and a celebration now because it's all going to be great vibes. I mean, I'm talking top dilemma. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? As if I'm going to say no. Dilemma answered. I've also got something else to try, but I'm just gonna do a little taster. I'll save the rest for tomorrow. They've got a load of new dragon rolls out. They also had spicy tuna, which is just not for me. Fish in sushi makes me feel a bit sick, but I absolutely love fish. Again, it's just one of those weird little things I have. And then they also had, I can't remember, Korean something again. But I picked up the hoisin duck dragon roll. Duck, cucumber, hoisin, okay, basically. Just the normal description, I think, too exciting. There we go. They look so good. Let's try the one that looks good. The flavours are nice. But I don't know if the duck is making it a bit too sloppy. Have I got it around my mouth? You know, because duck is a very tender consistency. I don't know if it's too tender. They definitely look a lot better than they taste, I won't lie. The crispy onions, unfortunately, are not crispy in any way, shape or form. That one actually tasted a lot better. That one was really good. Maybe the other one didn't have enough duck in it. Yeah, I mean, overall, not that exciting. I mean, would I enjoy it for lunch? Yes, I think I prefer the katsu one that they do. The sauce on top is very, I don't know, I'm just not wowed by this. If I was gonna rate it, I'd probably rate it a seven. Let's finish lunch with something sweet. We have some new Percy Pigs. I don't know how new these are because I feel like I would have seen them posted if they were really new, but it does say new. I can never open Percy Pigs. You always have to open them like that. Yeah, so they're more like a harder sweet. They taste exactly the same as a Percy Pig. They are the tiniest bit tougher. But yeah, in terms of flavour, absolutely no different. I feel bad peeling the head off. To be fair, there's a different colour, so... Mmm, that one's quite nice. Mm. I'm so bad with flavours, I don't know if that's lemon or orange. Maybe it's both. Tastes just like Percy Pig, so can't really go wrong. But Percy Pigs are not really my favourite sweet. I prefer the fizzy pigtails. But um, as you all know, I'd probably give this bag a miss. I'd prefer the original over these. Right, that is it for lunch. So I will see you guys now for dinner. It's time for dinner. And the two options that I put out on my Instagram earlier was either picky bits or a microwave meal that's like pesto pasta and some garlic bread. You guys chose picky bits and you've also cost me a small fortune, okay? I didn't really realise until I was like popping it all through and I thought, fucking hell spent a lot here love one of the first things i picked up are these dinky burger bites yeah dinky dunkers i was thinking did i just pull that out my ass no so it says cheddar cheese and butter pastry with seasoned beef and onion filling topped with onion crumb and a gherkin and tomato mustard dip these say can be served hot or cold but i'm gonna heat these up the next two things i'm gonna show you are part of a deal they were three for eight pounds so the burger dips then i got these spice naan chicken something <laughs> Bots, oh my, bots. I think I actually need to start having like some speech therapy or something because I'm really struggling with my words and it's getting quite bad. I did a TikTok yesterday and I said something completely wrong in it that I didn't even pick up as I was saying it. Spice chicken naan bite. So it says chicken, potato, onion with tikka spices folded in a garlic naan or a naan style pastry. And then the final thing of the deal are these arancini and these are tomato and mozzarella. So they are tomato and caramelized onion, ooh, rice balls with a cheesy center coated in crisp breadcrumb. They sound really good. So it's gone really dark in here. Next thing I picked up are these Korean fried chicken. So this is Korean fried chicken or KFC. It refers to a variety of fried chicken dishes from South Korea with juicy yet crispy marinated chicken pieces coated in a sweet and spicy goo, I don't know how you say that word, barbecue chili sauce. Still going. I'm just going to try like two of each of these. And then I don't know 
of what made me want to pick these up but there's this girl that i watch on tiktok and if you watch me and you have tiktok then you've probably seen or follow her and she always has a chinese takeaway she always gets salt and pepper prawns they always look so good but i'm not really a prawn lover but i thought do you know what let's give them a go so these are juicy king prawns in a garlic and herb batter and then also final thing which i don't know what i'm going to try it with maybe the prawns i picked up the salt and vinegar may i and that is everything so let me serve this all up and then we'll do a taste test here is everything apart from the mayo this all looks so good these especially smell amazing so excited to try all of this i don't want to try it first maybe i will do these little burger bites the little burger sauce That texture really put me off at first. I've only just really become a lover of burgers. I don't know, let me try again. Well, I'm glad I did these first because they're not really capturing the taste of a burger to me. It tastes more like I'm just eating mincemeat. It's not full of flavors, the sauce is saving it. I thought it was gonna have more to it. It's not terrible, but definitely wouldn't get you guys to run for these. If I'm gonna rate it, I would say six. Let's try the Korean chicken next. Got the sauce here. That sauce is unreal. As soon as I smell it, I knew I was going to love it. That is so good. It tastes kind of like a plum sauce, reminding me of the sauce you get with duck pancakes. Kind of mixed with barbecue from the Chinese. Mm. And the crunch on the chicken as well. Wow. I just know that they would be an 11 out of 10 if they was cooked in the air fryer. They're crispy in the oven, so they're going to be even better in the air fryer. I didn't realise how much M&S had in their, like, Chinese-inspired takeaway section. And there was loads of things that looked really good, so I definitely need to try more stuff like that. I never get their takeaway-inspired stuff. All I ever get, really, is their pizzas but yeah really really good the only thing is is the sauce come in i guess you'd probably eat all at once but i put the other ones in the freezer because they go out date tomorrow but yeah i'll be sad that i don't have the rest of that sauce now i should have poured a little bit in a bag right let's do the naan bites mm. i don't know if i'm getting naan pastry though but the flavors in that are so good it kind of just tastes like a ticker samosa which is basically what it is but yeah, I don't think it's naan inspired. To me, that's the same texture as a samosa. But full of flavour. Really like that. Also, I feel like I'm not really talking to you in today's video. I'm literally just giving you a rundown of the food. I actually don't like meat samosas. I only get chicken samosas. So would I choose this over a samosa? I don't know. I don't think so. I should have got some mango chutney. But then again, I've already got enough on my plate. <laughs> See the sauce there? It's got potatoes in it as well, doesn't it? I really like them. I mean, it's kind of expected with me, isn't it? It's the sort of thing I enjoy. I'm trying to put these off, but we have the king prawns, which look very mushy underneath. Maybe because I've left them there for a bit too long whilst I've eaten the rest of it, but here we go. Mmm. Well, very fishy. Not for me. The batter's so good and the fish is too fishy. I like fishy fish. Like I do like mackerel, cod, haddock, salmon, tuna, it all. But prawns, I don't know, there's something about them. There's like fish that tastes really strong fish, but that to me tastes more like the sea. You know when you go to the sea and you can smell it? That's what that reminds me of. But I will eat the other one because I want to try this sauce. Try and get a lot on it so I can get the flavour. It is, look, can you see what it looks like there? It's all mash. Oh no, I can't really taste the mayo. Fish is taking over. Let me get more. The mayo is good. It is very vinegary. I'm not the biggest fan of vinegar. <laughs> like if I go fish and chip shop, I wouldn't put vinegar on my chips. I don't hate it. It's just not my preference. I wouldn't personally choose it. If you like vinegar, you'll love this. Final item, which I nearly forgot to cook, are the tomato and mozzarella arancini. Let's see if it's got a cheese pull. <gasps> Maybe I've again left it too long. It has taken me a while to eat all this. Not that you would have seen, but cheesy inside mm, that's got so much flavor i just dipped a bit in the last bit of this and it is really vinegary like nine out of ten anyway these are gorgeous this is one of my favorites what did i like the most 
I've had so much on my plate, I can't remember, but I think these and the Korean fried chicken, they were definitely my favourites. 100% would buy them again. I'm even going to dip a bit of that sauce in this, don't even care. I don't know. I mean, that was quite successful. I'd get all of it again, apart from the burger bites and the prawns, which when you think about it, makes sense because neither of them are my favorite foods, but at least I tried them. Anyway, I'll be back with you guys in a bit for dessert. It's time to end the day on something sweet. And I have got this, which is whip off the old block. This is for Father's Day, but I felt like I had to try it. So it's a milk chocolate bar filled with mallow and salted caramel. This is quite expensive. This is a fiver, but it is supposed to be a gift. I mean, I don't know about my dad, but my mum loves a walnut whip. So I feel like this would be a better Mother's Day present if I can get into it. They also had these battens that I was choosing between, but they were also a fiver. And I was like, I'm not buying both. So I went for this. Oh my God, it's straight there. No foil needed. Oh, broken. That looks so weird. It looks like Lego or it looks like Madonna's bra. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't get much of the marshmallow in that bite. I might take the bottom off. I mean, it tastes amazing, but it's very awkward to eat. Let's try again and see if it all flakes apart. To be fair, if I was eating this in private, I'd probably nibble the sides, eat the bottom off, and then eat the top. Because it has literally exploded and chocolate's gone everywhere. <laughs> if my dad ate this, this would for sure give him the ump. You wouldn't be able to sit on the sofa and eat this because you'd have melted chocolate going everywhere. I like the idea, but for actual practicality, it's not great. Probably wouldn't buy it again because if you're spending five pounds on something, it should be a smooth, enjoyable experience, not a stressful, am I getting chocolate everywhere experience. Well, that concludes another video. I feel like today I've had some really good things, but then at the same time, I'm like, I've also had some things. I mean, nothing was really bad apart from the prawns. But yeah, let me know if you guys have tried any of this. And before you go, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.